When we export one or more images from Picasa, we're asking Picasa to make a copy of that image and place it in a specific folder on the hard drive. So the first step will be to select the images. Let's do that now. You'll notice that I've got two albums, a scenic album with three images and a flowers album also with three images. So let's go ahead and uh, select a few at random and prepare them for export. I'm first going to click on this desert landscape. You'll notice a blue border has appeared to indicate the selection, but also down in the photo tray a thumbnail of the desert landscape has appeared. It's very important now that you come over and you click once on this green push pin, and that has the effect of pinning this selection to the tray. If you don't do this, the next time you jump around to a different album, or if you were jumping back and forth between folders, you would lose that selection. So, because it's pinned, we're free to move down to a new album. I'm going to click on Wedding Sunflowers, and I'm going to pin that. Now I'm going to jump back up to the forest, and I'm going to pin that. And now we're ready to come over here and look for the icon called Export. And when we hover our cursor over it, the tooltip appears saying, Copy photos in the photo tray to a folder on your hard disk. Clicking one time opens this dialog box. Let's go through this. The first step is Picasso wants to know which folder on the hard drive should contain these exported photos. And I like to click the Browse button here and be very specific. On my desktop, I come down and I've created a folder called Exported Picasso Photos. I click that and I say OK. My next step is that I can add a subfolder within that folder and Picasa has conveniently typed in the word scenic which is one of the album names and I'm fine with that so I'm going to leave that alone. My next decision is whether or not to add numbers to the file names to preserve their order. I usually do this so I'm going to leave this checked. Now this area about image size has a lot to do with the option of resizing or reducing the size of an image and this is very helpful when you want to prepare an image for emailing. So I could do the original size or I can resize and if I resize I must specify the specific size and you have some choices here controlled by this slider. 1024 is a good choice for uh, pixel dimension for an email. If not 1024, maybe 800. That's up to you. My next decision is image quality and this is really a decision about the compression used when it does the resizing. I'm happy to leave this at automatic. You have other choices there. And by the way, the Picasa help system has a lot of information about the details of some of these choices that you're making. So feel free to consult that. We're going to skip over the last two sections because we're not exporting a movie and we're not choosing to watermark the image as we export it. Now when I come down and I click export, what's going to happen is Picasso will execute this export process. And after that, I'm going to want to go to that folder and make sure that the process was successful. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to click export. And now we've navigated to the place on my hard drive where I've asked Picasa to place the copied images. Specifically, on the desktop, in a folder called Exported Picasa Photos, in a subfolder called Scenic. So let me double click this, and sure enough, there are the images. Desert Landscape, Wedding Sunflowers, and Forest. And you might notice that because of the numbers, Wedding Sunflowers comes in the middle of this, which is the order that I specified. Otherwise, the Windows operating system or the Mac operating system would want to sort these alphabetically, and Wedding Sunflowers would be at the uh, end of this uh, assortment. So, congratulations, you've successfully exported these images. Now you're free to open your email system, for example, and when you're asked which files you'd like to attach to an email, you simply navigate to this location on your hard drive and select the images. That's all for now.